Waterbox is a lifestyle water bottle company based here in Park City. A lot of companies focus on maybe a sport or an activity, something specific. You know, my bottle is best for running or my bottle is best for hiking. And certainly our bottles cover all of those needs. But what we really wanted to focus on was the aesthetics. Just how does the bottle look? How does it feel? And we wanted to make sure that it was really easy to use. You know, a wide mouth so you could put ice cubes in and drink mixes, but make sure that you could put it in the dishwasher. Water bottles um, is this perfect place where function meets, you know, design. And it's this idea that, you know, we're not going to reinvent how a bottle functions. I mean, you know, we've had bottles for a long time. We don't want them to leak or spill. That part's quite obvious. But what the opportunity was is how do you make it a better looking bottle it's really like this idea that it's the next pair of sunglasses or it's the next handbag it's a functional item but it looks cool water box bottles in particular were one of the first companies to make a square uh, steel bottle turns out it's much harder than one would think to make a square steel bottle by the time you, you move this material around but what it allows you to do is to set the bottle down on a, a surface like say you're in the outdoors and you put it on top of a rock it won't roll away so it really was born out of this idea of function but what it's become really is just a very cool shape and design and we focused on the cap and the way it interfaces with the bottle so that this is very smooth and the reason we did that is so you can come in and just grab it, kind of like a ski grip. This cap here has rubber, um, so if your hands are wet, maybe you just came out of yoga class, or maybe you're on a boating trip, really good, easy grip on it. And so that makes it nice and comfortable as well. But we also made sure that it was asymmetric. And by making it asymmetrical, someone with small hands in particular, it's really easy just to use your palm, and you can open and close it and get a really tight seal. All the materials we use, the litmus test we use, if you will, is would we give it to our daughters, our sons, you know, our kids? And in my case, I have a three-year-old daughter. And so that's a, a real simple way to ask yourself the question, is this bottle safe if you feel comfortable giving it to your kids? All of the bottles that we do at Waterbox, all of our artwork bottles, there's an actual independent artist uh, behind each of them. So we have 21 different bottles, and we're working with a little more than that as far as artists goes. This particular piece, the Love artwork, is an artist by the name of Alexander Grant. She's an LA-based artist and she donated this work to us. This is a 25-foot sculpture on top of a house in the Watts housing uh, project that they're doing called the Love House. And so we will be uh, taking this portion of the sales from this artwork and then donating it to her house and that cause. We've committed to giving 1% of our gross sales to youth art programs and also to clean drinking water initiatives. We're going to see some exciting things from Waterbox in the future. We'll be introducing a range of kids products which will be coming out in spring. Uh, one of the fun things about this group of products is that we can uh, play around with shape and you're going to see some new shapes and styles coming from us as well as insulated bottles. Basically the idea is you're driving down the road, you reach down with one hand, you can push the button, pop the top, and get a good drink. Uh, we call it the gulp factor. You know, so you can get a good gulp of water or whatever your beverage is, and push it down with one hand to close it. And that way, you don't have to uh, work, worry about screwing or unscrewing it. We know that people generally like to drink out of the bottle itself, but there's also a growing number of people that want a straw that they can drink from. So what you can see here in these renderings is where a straw will flip up out of the top of the bottle. The glass, it's a little bit like that difference if you're drinking out of a pint glass for say a, you know, a piece of fine china, you know, how thick or thin is it? And we really got this right where it's just a really comfortable uh, thickness of the glass. So when you take a drink out of it, it's really nice. Being in Park City is a great place for us. There is a, a wide variety of people that have come through our city and our town. It's very creative. Even our offices here, which are located in the Silver Star Resort, are just a couple buildings down from the Sundance Institute. There's also the Spiro Arts Center here, which has an in-residence art program in the summer. And there's just a lot of crossover, sort of cross-pollination, if you will, of the cultures and the art. So for us, it's a great place to be. We've had incredible luck. We've had great distribution but we really are creating a brand and we've just started this and we want to be known as a very easy company to do business with, whether that's a retail partner of ours or the end consumer who we ultimately really focus on. We're really uh, you know, a, a pretty small group of people that are just trying to have a good time doing this and uh, you know, we just want to be a part of something that's fun and energetic.